Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on solving your trig equation here. This is a very interesting trig equation. First thing we're going to do is going to do substitution for variable. So we have 6u squared minus 7u plus 2 equal to 0. Now factor this one. If this is not clear, you can look on Tucson Math Doc channel, look on this math channel and type in triple play, triple play method. I go into detail how to factor things that with coefficient that's not one. For in our case here, we have a 6u minus 4, 6u minus 3, the whole thing divided by 6, which is 2 times 3 equal to 0. So the factor here, which I'm not covering, is 3 minus u, 3u minus 2, 2u minus 1 equal to 0. Substitute back in there, so I have u equal to 2 over 3, or u equal to half. Sine of x over 2 equal to 2 over 3, substituting our variable back in there, so I have sine x over 2 equal to half. Okay, so let's solve this one half at a time. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a sine curve, which looks like this. Since we're giving to x has to belong to 0 to 2 pi, okay. then x over 2 is really from 0 to pi. So we're really just curious for x that's belong to 0 to uh, pi. And then a half here, it's a little off scale here. This is pi over 6, this is 5 pi over 6, which is really pi minus pi over 6 for this one. So you have two solutions for this half. We have x over 2 equal to pi over 6, or x is equal to pi over 3. You can just multiply by 2. Or x over 2 is equal to 5 pi over 6, or then we'll have x equal to 5 pi over 3, both of which less than 2 pi. Okay. If you go for next to 1, it's going to be over 2 pi. So since our requirement is x has to stay between 0 to 2 pi, those are the two solutions on this side. Okay. Let's take a look on this side. Now this one is not a pretty even number, but that's how it, the theory still stays the same. Once again, we're looking for x stays between 2 pi and x over 2 is equal to pi, basically. All right, so it's over here. This is 2 over 3. If you punch into your calculator, you'll say x over 2. Now, here I'm using roughly decimal. It's 0 0.79 in radians. Or x is equal to 2 times 0 0.79. In radians. Okay. And then next one you're going to have, let's say, times 2, so it's um, x over 2, so this is one solution. x over 2 equal to pi minus 0 0.79 in radians. So x is equal to 2 pi minus 1.58 in radians. Let's get a decimal point for this one. So 3.14 times 2, and then we're going to subtract 1.58. So basically it's 4.7 in radians. Now 2 pi is roughly 6 point, let's say 3.14, so it's 8 to 6.28, so it's less than 6.28 in radians. Okay, so the solution, you have actually four of them. You have uh, x equal to pi over 3, x equal to 5 pi over 3, 1.58, 1.58 in radians, or 4.7 in radians. All right? Well, that's how we handle solving this trig equation here. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If this video has been helpful, please comment, or I'd appreciate a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.